So we had the HDMI boost, and uh, as part of the HDMI 2.1, there's a uh, this eARC support, some new smart surround solution. So hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Ed Syme from Simply Laboratories. eARC is the new enhanced audio return channel. It builds upon the original ARC from the HDMI 2.0 and, and previous days. Original ARC was about one to four megabits a second, and eARC is up to 40 megabits a second. So what does that mean, return channel? Well, what happens is, is a video goes into your television, and you want to get the high bit rate and other audio out of your television to your AVR or your sound bar. And using the new eARC, it allows you to get much higher bit rates out of your television back to your soundbar. Does that work over the regular optical cables or something totally different? Is it new speaker systems yeah. or? ARC worked across either SPDIF, TOSLINK or an HDMI uh, cable back channel. Now we are exclusively across the HDMI cable. And uh, um, does that mean um, in the future people will be able to position their speakers in any sized room, anywhere? And then there's somehow there's like, is there a microphone that detects, that calibrates, or how does it work? How do you how, how do you calibrate a room to get perfect surround? Does that help with that? You no, know, eARC is actually just a, a transport mechanism for high bit rate audio. It's actually agnostic to uh, things. It supports up to 32 channels of uncompressed, but it also supports the compressed, uh, most notably the Dolby, Dolby Digital Plus, True HD, and DTS Master. Um, and uh, you know, since we're bitstream agnostic, if there are new uh, uncompressed or compressed standards in the future, it'll also handle those. And what this allows you, it, you know, the 32 channels uncompressed, there's a standard for that that will put the, the speakers many places, but it's not specified on how they will be utilized. So uh, for example, Dolby True HD is a 7.1, uh, and perhaps even higher than that, a 9.1, 11.1 or 2. Um, and, and that uh, the bitstream will just flow through the television to the AVR or to the uh, soundbar, be decoded there, or in the Dolby ATMOS system to the soundbar, and then some of the speakers will point towards the ceiling and come back down. And so you can mimic the, the surround sound without requiring necessarily rear speakers or, or uh, rear height speakers. Is there some calibration to be done with that? Is that something else? Uh, that would be part of the, you know, the Dolby or the DTS and how they would do things like that. There's nothing, if, you know, we don't do any uh, microphone calibration of sound or anything like that. Not, that's not really part of the standard. But we don't preclude it, but it's not part of the standard. What is part of the standard that hadn't been there, uh, in the past there was a lip sync as part of ARC, but it was never really implemented. Now there should be a lip sync. That is part a mandatory portion of the of, of the. That means uh, every uh, remote of the HDMI 2.1 televisions will have a, a menu system where you can go and screw it back or forward the video based on the audio. Um, that's presently what some televisions are trying to do to correct for lip sync. Maybe there'll be some separate or se secondary sub menus that you go to and try and have a slider bar and correct the audio as you perceive it to be incorrect. But now with eARC. The television manufacturer should measure the video pipeline in the television and then send that video delay or, or information to the soundbar and the soundbar can correct automatically. And if you change from say a gaming mode to a theater mode, the television can then send the new updated uh, lip sync information and it should do it automatically on the fly. And uh, uh, so this is the Simply Labs uh, box right here. Correct. Uh, what goes on in here? Okay, what we have here is uh, this box is uh, basically a piece of test equipment for mimicking either a transmitter or a receiver. And using it, we can send uh, control streams that mimic proper and as well as bad behaviors as specified by the HDMI specification. So return means the TV sends the HDMI out back to the speakers or something? Correct. How do you get your high bit rate audio or any other audios that are inside the television, say from a set-top box, if you have it connected directly to your TV, how do you get the good sound out of it? So Maybe there will be the an HDMI output? Correct. There'll be, you know, normally the speakers on a, a big screen like this probably aren't as going to be as good as what you can get from a sound bar, or certainly not as good as what you'll get from an AVR. But this is a way of getting more than, you know, standard PCM out and get some real 
uh, amplification going. So it's going to be interesting to get uh, the next level of the sound experience, and that's going to be that's now a standard by part of the HDMI one. Correct. This is a, this is evolutionary. So we go from four megabits to forty megabits, and there's also a new signaling scheme. This now uses the two pins that were repurposed, that were originally part of the HDMI uh, 1.4 with Ethernet. Those same two pins from Ethernet have been repurposed for the audio return channel. All right, so there it is, and uh, many companies work with uh, Simply Labs. Yes, Simply Labs is both an authorized test center as well as a manufacturer of equipment. So when companies uh, incorporate new new features and uh, need them certified, they can send them to uh, Simply Labs. We have uh, test centers in Shenzhen, Shanghai, United States, uh, Taiwan. And uh, where's the headquarters? Headquarters is Hills Hillsboro, Oregon.